As the question says, in the Young's double slit experiment, slits are separated by 0.5 mm and the screen is placed 150 cm away, which means the small d is given as 0.5 mm and the capital D is 150 cm. Okay, so that's the first part of the data. The question says a beam of light consisting of two wavelengths 650 nanometer and 520 nanometer is used to obtain interference fringes on the screen which means we have two lambda say lambda 1 is 650 nanometer and lambda 2 is 520 nanometer okay now the least distance for the common central maximum to the point where the bright fringes due to both the wavelengths coincide yes we want the wavelength or the bright fringes to coincide which means the path difference for both the wavelengths must be same and that means we can use something like n1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2 now in this scenario we can say n1 by n2 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1 which is 520 nanometer upon 650 nanometer so definitely we can cancel this out and reduce this to 4 upon 5 and that means the fourth bright band of lambda 1 coincide with fifth bright band of lambda 2 because we can take L1 to be 4 and L2 to be 5 now they have not asked which band is coinciding with which one they have asked us the distance at which these bands are coinciding which means the minimum distance they were, we want to find so here we have to take x is equal to n1 lambda 1 capital D by small d or n2 lambda 2 capital D by small d you can take either one the answer will come as same so if I go for the first case n1 is 4 Lambda 1 is 650 nanometer, so 650 into 10 raised to minus 9. Capital D is 150 centimeter, which is 1.5 meter. So 1.5 upon the small d is 0.5 millimeter, so I can write 0.5 into 10 raised to minus 3. So definitely this will become 0.5 3 is 1.5, and this will be 650 into 4. I think it is going to be 40 uh, 22 uh, double karoge so basically it will be 1300 and then it will double karoge so 2 6 double 0 into 3 into 10 raised to minus 9 plus 3 is going to be minus 6 ok so now we can multiply this by 3 we get 0 0 3 6 is 80 1 carry 3 2 is 6 plus 1 7 8 0 0 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter now as per the given option definitely we can just shift the decimal and write 7.8 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter or 7.8 millimeter yes guys and that is going to be your final answer so please copy this carefully 